Rapidweaver offers excellent support for blogging and even directly through its own blog plugin which comes with Rapidweaver. That's what we're looking at here. This is a blog page that is created through Rapidweaver by simply going to add page and choosing blog from the list right here and the types of pages that are available. So I'm going to show you really quickly what is available with Rapidweaver's blog. And then we'll talk a bit about what other options that you have as well when working with Rapid Weaver. So to begin with, this is the blog page in edit view. And to create a blog, all you need to do is add this page and then begin to add blog entries. And so we can do that by clicking on the plus button here. And that will bring up a new line across the top. And then we'll use the panel on the right to give information to the blog. And so we'll give it a title. And so we can say something like, welcome to our blog here. And then we can format the date. We can post it to any time we'd like. And then we have the ability to use categories, tags, and a permalink. These are great options that are available for the blog. And we do need to enable these options, though. So let's take a look for a moment at the Page Inspector under the Page tab. This, this tab displays all the options for this type of page, which is a blog. And so we have options for all kinds of things, like archives and permalinks and comments. You can use commenting for your blog. And so you can choose from a list of providers that are available here for the different types of commenting providers that are available. And so we could choose our um, commenting provider that we have signed up with and just enter our information here to link that commenting. And then we can allow visitors to comment on our blog posts. If we go to categories, we can enable those. We can also go to tags and enable those as well. Those just provide another way for people to navigate the topics and the content of the blog that we've created. Of course, RSS feeds are enabled and are available for our blog. This is important so people can subscribe and be up to date with the um, happenings of our blog. And finally, there's a bunch of advanced options here. We can change how the date is formatted. We can link to iTunes um, tags. We can create channels for RSS feeds. And then there are some other options available here as well. But in general, all you need to know is right here inside of this area. So we can add, once we've enabled categories, we can add those. And so we can say something like um, blogging. And then for tags, these are specific um, subjects that are inside of the blog entry. So we could say something like Rapid Weaver, website design, blogging. Etc. And so those are tags for the blog post. Then finally, there's a permalink option. This is very important because permalinks are important for search engine optimization purposes. And so Rapidweaver does a great job of supporting that optimization with the permalink. And so what we could say something here uh, is something like uh, Rapidweaver blogging, website design. And so that would be the permalink, which is part of the URL that is generated from this blog entry. Rapidweaver does support podcasting, and so we could use the add podcast function to link to our podcasts if we choose to do that as well. But that's all we have to do to set up um, the actual blog entry itself, and then we need to create content, and that's just available right here through this space. And so this is a standard text formatting kind of area. We have a formatting toolbar across the bottom that lets us add links to text. We can format our text with different styles across the bottom. We can also drag images into this space. And so let me drag an image from my finder. And we'll just put that directly into the page right here. And you can see that that image is now available. We could double click on that image to choose from some formatting options, but I'll just leave them as they are. And then I'll just come down a couple of spaces. And then I'm just going to take some text that I've already put together and I'll just paste that directly into the space here. And so now we've got our image, we've got some text. Let's take a preview to see what this is starting to look like. So we have our blog title, the date, we have the category. We scroll down, we see the image, we see the text for our blog entry. And then at the bottom, we see tags. And so this is different ways of visiting different posts that are related to those subjects. We can also see that same information in the right. We have categories listed, archives by date month and year and then we've got our tag cloud which is all the tags that we've used um, inside of our blog so far there's also a link for the rss feed for people that want to subscribe and so it's you can see it's really easy to create a basic blog um, using rapid weaver in the blog page in addition to text and images that are placed inside of the blog entry you could paste in embed code for a youtube video or you could place other um, social networking widgets in this space as well. There's also a sidebar for the blog page. If we were to visit the sidebar, we could put any type of content right in here. This right here is actually adding social networking icons to the top of my website. 
but I could use this space to create um, links to other information or provide pretty much whatever I'd like, which would be then right above the categories. And so this space would fill up and push everything down as I went along. And so that is how you would go about building a blog in Rapid Weaver. Pretty much everything you need is right here in this blog page. The only catch to using the Rapid Weaver blog is that you have to go through Rapid Weaver to blog and then publish to your website. So if you don't like that idea, if you want to be able to have more freedom in blogging without having to open up Rapid Weaver or have a computer with Rapid Weaver installed, then you can use a couple of other plugins that will either allow you to use Google's blogger service or even WordPress in order to use those systems to add blogs to a Rapid Weaver website. So those plugins are available as well. I'm not going to go into those right now, but I do want you to know that they're available. So there's a lot of flexibility in how you create a blog and put it in your Rapid Weaver website. So with that, we'll wrap up this video. Thank you for watching.